Hi everyone. Um, sorry, but this is actually my first YouTube video. Um, in this video, I'll give a short review on this new Backman motorized turntable. Um, actually, I was been um, searching for reviews on this turntable um, about two or three weeks ago, and unfortunately, uh, I couldn't find any reviews on on this turntable. And in the end, I decided to just go ahead and purchase it. Um, I got this turntable from micromark.com. Um, it was $88.50. Uh, basically, quite reasonable. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, it's a DCC ready. Um, and as you can see here, on the turntable, it has a small cabin. Uh, on the turntable and and please do look at the sides okay the turntable um, is actually meant for backman easy tracks but still um, you can use it um, as you can see in this video I'm using a code 100 tracks so probably after this I'll try to do some something probably to to cover up those sides I mean it does look kind of weird okay and okay just look at it from the turntable to the to the roundhouse uh, I'm using a Walters cornerstone roundhouse and both of this roundhouse and the turntable doesn't have the same degrees so I need to make some changes on the tracks it's ugly as you can see but I got no choice that's the best um, I can do um, changes on the tracks to to the roundhouse okay um, I ordered a MRC 4 function locomotive decoder when I placed my order for the turntable at micromark.com so when I got the turntable and the decoder um, during setup it doesn't work uh, and I thought that probably the decoder um, not compatible or something to do with the decoder and in the end I went out and I bought another new decoder the one that recommended by Backman Backman 44915 locomotive decoder and same thing the turntable still not working and I created a thread in Backman forum and I asked for help and those folks in Backman forum they are really really cool and they are helpful they gave me ideas and they advised me what to do next and actually in the end I found out this turntable it doesn't work with my Hornby digital select controller so if you are thinking of getting this controller, make sure you use it with a Backman Easy Command controller. It will not work with Hornby Select controller. Okay, let's see how it works. It's still on default address number three. Okay, let's try the other way around. Okay, now I'll get my SD40 onto the turntable and the turntable just have enough space for SD40. So as you can see here, not, not much space left. Um, so again, um, for those who really would like to get this turntable, you have to look at your locomotives, your engines, um, 
because of the limited space on the turntable. Okay, so this is a closer look on the turntable. It's a small cabin. They got um, the turntable have railings on both sides. And and it's DCC ready. Pretty easy to set it up. Just make sure you're not going to use it with a Hornby Select Controller. So basically, this is a very short review on the turntable. And sorry again, um, my first attempt with YouTube. And thank you very much.